Hi, this is Brandon from Aramax. We're here today to show you the recommended maintenance of an RP75 72R dual piston compressor. We recommend performing maintenance on your compressor every 12 to 18 months. The tools that are required for this unit are a T25 Torx wrench, a T20 Torx wrench or eighth inch Allen wrench, 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, quarter inch Allen wrench, half inch wrench, 5 8 inch wrench, pick tool, and pipe joint compound or Teflon tape. Included with this maintenance kit are two cylinder sleeves, two piston cups, two cylinder O-rings, two head O-rings, four tube O-rings, two valve plates and pre-installed leaf valves, and four standard screws or four torque screws. You will want to use the same type of screws that are originally installed on your particular compressor. First, remove the air filter from the valve plate using a 5 8 inch wrench. Be sure to take note of where the air filter is installed on the valve plate. Next, using a quarter inch Allen wrench, remove the two quarter inch pipe plugs, noting their location on the valve plate. Then, use a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the two screws holding down the manifold. Remove and save the two spacers underneath the manifold. Now, remove the brass 90 degree fitting from the valve plate using a half inch wrench. Next, use a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the remaining six screws on top of the head assembly. Separate the heads from the head assembly and set aside. Take note of the position of the leaf valves in relation to the capacitor. This will be important when reinstalling the new valve plates. Next, separate the old valve plate from the valve tubes. Remove the two bow rings with a small pick tool and install the new ones from the maintenance kit. Now, firmly place the new valve plate onto the valve tubes. Repeat this process for the second valve plate. Then, install the new valve plate. Using a T20 Torx wrench or 8th inch Allen wrench, remove the two set screws on the piston cup for both cylinders. Next, remove the cylinder sleeves. Remove and discard the worn piston cups. Next, place the retaining band into the piston cup. Firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve. Flip over to ensure the piston cup is evenly aligned. Reinstall the cylinder sleeve onto the piston and line up the holes. Use two new screws supplied with the maintenance kit to reinstall the piston cups. Be sure to use the same type of screws that were originally installed on the compressor. Repeat this process for the second cylinder. Flip the valve plate over to install the new cylinder O-rings. Now install the valve plate onto the cylinder sleeves ensuring the leaf valves are pointing away from the capacitor. Push down firmly to secure in place. Then install the two new head O-rings from the maintenance kit onto the top of the valve plate. Next, align the head covers on the top of the valve plates. Match the grooves in the head to the grooves in the valve plate. Not doing so will damage the leaf valves. Now install the six cap screws to secure the head covers on the valve plates. Leave the inner two screw holes open. We recommend going back and forth between screws to ensure the screws are securely in place. Be sure not to over tighten. Next, reinstall the brass 90 degree fitting attached to the manifold hose. It is recommended to use pipe joint compound or Teflon tape when reinstalling. Be sure to position the 90 degree fitting pointed away from the capacitor and tightening with a half inch wrench. Reposition the two spacers onto the two remaining holes in the head assembly. Reinstall the manifold using the two remaining screws. Tighten down the screws using a 532nd Allen wrench. Be sure to go back and forth to ensure the screws are securely in place. Now, reinstall the two quarter inch pipe plugs using pipe joint compound and a quarter inch Allen wrench. It's important the plugs are reinstalled in the original valve plate holes. Then reinstall the air filter onto the last valve plate hole using a 5 8 inch wrench, again using pipe joint compound. This completes the installation of the RP75 72R dual piston compressor maintenance kit. Once you've completed the maintenance kit installation, it is a perfect time to replace the air filter. 
This should be done every three to six months. Simply hold the base of the air filter, turn the cap counterclockwise to remove, then replace the old air filter element with a new one. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.